Yo, what is up everyone, Bullets Gaming here today, and today we're going to be playing some more Greenville, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the off-sale cars in Greenville, or specifically the off-sale car brands here. So, first off, we're going to be starting with pretty much the more obvious ones. Thank you to the ADBR Zone for the list that we have here, but if we come over to Discord here, when we come over to the ADBR Zone, which I will have... The link to their Discord down in the description below. We have a lot of off-sale vehicles here, but let's start with the more unknown ones, or maybe forgotten ones. So first, we have Genesis, or Origin. Uh, we also have Lucid, Simple, and Kia Combi. And then Maserati, which maybe is not as forgotten, which is Barchetta. Bentley, which is Montley. Hyundai and Tuscany, GMC, Bronson, Buick Bronson, Chevrolet, Chevron, Cadillac Leland, Saturn Jupiter, Pontiac Aero, Saab Olin, Oldsmobile New Car, Hummer Rever, Holden Valley slash VSV, BMW BKM, Rolls Royce Sir Rogers, Mini Bitsy, Lotus Colin, Koenigsegg Skein, Suzuki Suki, some Chevy Hennessy is off, also off sale, which was, uh, I don't remember, but I think it was a Cadillac actually, the Cadillac CT5 Blackwing, uh, Pagani, and then Saline. So, there are obviously a lot of cars off sale, and, um, now, no, this is not only. All, this is not all the cars. Now, some cars include beaters, obviously, and base model trims um, that are not really, I guess you could say, cars that are made um, by the, like, that are standard uh, from the dealer that comes standard from the dealer. So, like this, you, you're not going to find a Mustang with rust on it or whatever uh, coming from a dealer, like, Who's gonna sell you a car with rust on it? Like, from a dealer to that, and you're not gonna find that at a dealer. And dents in the front here, like that, um, kind of fogged up headlights, um, rust kind of coming down for, yeah, it's a whole mess, you know? So, these cars are not, um, obviously on sale anymore, uh, because these were the ones that were able to be copyrighted more easily. So these, of course, are not on sale. Now, as you guys may also know, some cars like BMW here, or Toyota here, which was permanently removed from the game, which I will be going over that in a second, are back. So, of course, these are fictional models, as we can see. Um, the grille is not split for the BMW. Same thing over here. Um, the, they also do look different, as you can see. Um... But as we can see here with the Prius, it's also kind of different. Now, the Toyotas are going to be definitely the most, you could say, weird-looking cars that are going to be added back. And that's kind of for um, for a different video. Oh, well, there was already a video published on it. That I will have up in the corner. But uh, even Pontiac, as we can see here, is not fully correct. Like, on the hood, these should be hood scoops, not little vents that come up out of the hood and then right here we have um we should have a little split in the grill and then the headlights are also i'm pretty sure different a bit so yeah it's not the exact same type of model as the rest so you're definitely not going to see the exact same models as pretty much before because they're obviously fictionalized and of course every car model now is fictionalized so now we're going to move on to the permanently removed brands here. So if we come back over to Discord here, and we scroll down a bit, we have deleted from the game, which are cars that are permanently removed, not just off sale. So that will include Audi, which is Auto Works, Toyota, Velfire, Lexus, Sentry, Scion, N3XT, Lambo, Silhouette, Bugatti, Strigati, Ellison, Honda, Take. Wait, they got this messed up. This is supposed to be Honda, and then this is supposed to be Ellison, and then they did the same thing here. Acura, which is Takeda. And then, as we can see here, um, this was the rough trim was taken off the Porsche 930. All beaters, most starter, you know, which are the same thing as beaters. 
And then I think this is off sale. I'm not sure about this at all. So going back to Roblox here, we can go check what is still in game because there's obviously still cars that are in game that were not removed. So if we come over here to the dealer here, um, and as you guys can also see, some um, some Toyotas are back, and so that is the thing I was saying. So Toyota here, obviously, um, they have a pretty strict rule, and they kind of like copyright every single thing. Um, which this is in another video, and I'll, again, we'll have it linked up in the corner. But um. Toyota pretty much copyrights everything on their vehicles, so their vehicles will literally not look very much at all like the real vehicles because they have to fictionalize so, so much and get so, so creative with these vehicles. So they're going to, of course, try their best to make them look good, but they're really not going to look the best, and there's nothing they can really do about it. Um, this is slow to keep the game as is and running. And then, so you guys do know... The remodeled chargers, which if I was to come over to here and spawn, um, you guys may not have known this, um, but I have a whole video dedicated to the review of these cars. But the charger was recently remodeled, and it was fully remodeled. So as we can see here, we have uh, brand new headlights, um, and here we actually have a brand new trim, which this is the Hellcat, or old Hellcat trim. And now it's a Daytona trim, as we can see here. So yeah, we have a whole bunch of... Actually, the entire thing's now remodeled. So every single charger is now remodeled. Now this does exclude um like police and national park service chargers. Um, those have not yet been remodeled. Why I don't know. Um, but yes, these chargers have been remodeled. So now, if you guys are wondering, no, they will not be adding any more real models back. Um, I think the only reason they really added this was because it was, um finished already and it was going to be released right before uh they had to fictionalize stuff now about the 2021 mustangs i'm not too sure because i thought those were finished also uh i'm not too sure whether we will be getting those or not but we might potentially get them because i thought they were finished and even if they weren't finished they were very close to being finished because you would see them driving around in truckville sessions and stuff so they definitely were close to being finished or already finished, so we could potentially get maybe some 2021 Mustangs, but I very highly doubt it. Um, so yeah, they will not be adding any more non-fictional vehicles again, just to keep the game from getting copyrighted. So, yeah, now if we come into the dealer over here, behind us, let's go in here. Excuse the lag, I have absolutely no idea what's causing this lag. Um, I'm... I've looked and I've tried looking into it, but I can't figure it out. So, yeah, if we come over to here, we can check out what uh, vehicles are still on sale. Now, of course, these will either be fictionalized or will be mostly real models and are not um, old models that were listed on that list. So, if you still have an old model that was listed on that list, it's only off sale. Um, you don't have uh one of the ones that's like audi where it was um completely removed so yeah so first off we're gonna start with acadia which is a fictional car brand which is a fictional greenville car brand here and we have currently three cars which is pretty nice we have a sedan uh we have a sports sedan and then we have a sports car that's kind of like a super there then we have aikawa which no idea what this is it's old though arrow which is pontiac um, we have the 1988 Pontiac Firebird, I'm pretty sure. We have the S, uh, we have that, and then, um, we have the GTO. Uh, Audi here, with only the, uh, e-tron. Avanta, not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's a real car brand, but I don't remember. Uh, Bitsy, which is Mini, uh, only that is now. BKM, we have, actually, a couple models here. So we have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine models, but they're pretty much the same couple models. So we got three of whatever this is supposed to be, two X, whatever, X5s, I'm pretty sure, one of these, and then three of these. So in total, that's about one, two, three, that's four different models, really. 
And we have Bandit, which is um, fictional Fords, and then um, the Australian Fords. Beam, unsure of what Beam is. Belco, which is Shelby. Barossan, which only has the Noble Sport, which is, uh, again, fictional. It's not an actual car um, model. Bullhorn, I don't really think I need to go over because it's got a lot and they're not fictional. Celine or Kay Kayleen, I'm just going to call it Kayleen. Not even going to try that. Um, no idea what that even is. Celestial, um, no fictionals yet. Uh, Chrysler, which would be Chrysler. No fictionals, all real models. Cobalt, uh, another fictional brand. Uh, Colt, I'm pretty sure is also another fictional brand, yes. Uh, Combi, uh, which was... I think, yeah, it was Kia, but this is Daewoo, so... This doesn't quite count, um, uh, it's a real model. Direct, um, which is Polestar. Deja Vu, which is Fisker. Durant, which is Chevy. Uh, and it's all fictional, as we can see here. And, uh, hold up. E Easy, which is the golf cart thing. Elgrand, which is, uh, Genesis. No, Infinity. Not, inf not Genesis, Infinity. Infinity, um, and then Falcon, which is Ford, obviously, and... No, f well, there are a few fictional, but they're not there. Ferdinand, which has only one really fictional model. Um, it's just kind of like a wagon. And then I'll, I'll call it two. Giga, which is whatever that is. I don't know if it's a real model. I'm pretty sure it's not. Globe, which is Geo. Um, Keen, which is Hennessy, um, which is all fictional aside from the Apache, which is the um, Trackhawk. Uh, no, no, uh, Horlock. Um, the Mini is still there. The Lawnmower, obviously, is still there. Uh, if we come down here, Cadillac is just fictional models now. Uh, yeah, just fictional models. Aston Martin is non fictional. Uh, so I forgot your name. Uh, the, the other brand, um, I keep wanting to call it Maverick, but the other brand that's uh, associated with uh, Mercury, that's what it is. Um, Plymouth, uh, these two are non fictional. Uh, Mazda, no fictional ones yet. NVNA, fictional. Uh, Navara, which I think has maybe one. No, it doesn't have any fictional yet. New Car, which is um, Oldsmobile, only one car and fictional. Uh, this is, this used to be Rivian, um, and I guess still is Rivian. Now, I don't know if this didn't really get copyrighted, because it's technically labeled an Amazon vehicle, not a Rivian vehicle, even though it is made by Rivian. So I don't really know what to say about that, but yeah, um, no fictionals. Oland, obviously none. Overland, Jeep. Uh, there are no fictionals yet. Panini, which is Pagani, I have that. No fictionals. Piranha, which is Jaguar. No fictionals. Reload, unsure of what this is, but I don't think it's real. Ramsey, forgot what this is. Oh, Heel, Heel P50 is what I've heard it called. Um, not fictionalized. Alfa Romero, not fictionalized. Centennial, which is Lincoln, um, not fictionalized. No, it's not fictionalized. Uh, this is supposed to be Honda, Honda Pilot, Silhouette. Only fictionalized vehicles, obviously, because it got permanently removed. Sir Rogers, which is Rolls Royce. What happened to that? No idea what happened to this car. It should. It's Rolls Royce, I'm pretty sure, but. I don't know what happened to it. Stuttgart, which is um, Mercedes. I don't think it has any fictional. No, not fictional yet. Sumo, which um, has no fictional, but is a uh, Subaru. Surrey, which is... Um, oh my goodness, I already forgot the name of it. Uh, McLaren. Tony, which is Fiat. Terrain Traveler, which is a Land Rover. Um or whatever, Tuscany, which is, uh, supposed to be, yeah, that, I forgot, 
Uh, this is fictional, of course. Viking, no idea what that is. Uh, oh, Volvo, non-fictional, of course. Vision is Toyota, which, as we see, is kind of very messed up here. But, yeah, um, Leshki, which is non-fictional, I'm pretty sure. Wego, which is non-fictional. Western, which is just a made-up car brand. Wolfsburg, which is a uh, Volkswagen. I don't... Does it have a fictional? No, it doesn't have a fictional. Okay. No fictionals and whatever this... Oh, DeLorean. So, there are still a decent amount of cars in the game. And there still are a lot you can get. Um, a lot are fictional, though. Uh, at, or at least all the ones that are now being added are fictional. So, like this, which is supposed to be a Rolls Royce. And is a Rolls Royce, but it's not showing up. Is fictional. Um, every Lamborghini that you see is fictional. They're not that fictional, though. They actually still look really decent. Um, no idea what happened to the car back there, but that was fictional. Um, the only non-fictional car that's recently been added is the Renault over here, Renault 5. And um, this is through some partnership, I'm assuming. No idea why but or how, but... Yeah, those are all the off-sale and still on-sale vehicles you can get in Greenville. Um, again, I will have the list or the link to the ADBR list down in the description below, along with the, li uh, the invite to the ADBR server. But yeah, that is going to be all for today's video. So if this video did help you guys out, or if you guys did enjoy today's video, then please leave a like and subscribe, it does help me out. And then don't forget to join my Discord down below, so you know when I post new videos like this one. That everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.